So it's a uh, snowy day in January here in Pennsylvania where I'm making these videos and I'm looking out the back window of the classroom and I see snow out there. But I'm at school and I'm making videos for you and right now we're on page 1104 and uh, pages 11 through 12, negative exponents. All right, this kind of blows students' minds the first time they see it. And, uh, but it really isn't too bad, okay? A negative exponent means you take whatever the exponent is being applied to and you flip it to the other side of the fraction line. Okay, so we call that the reciprocal. The denominator becomes the numerator and the numerator becomes the denominator. We flip it to the other side. All that does is get rid of the negative part of the exponent and then you still have to apply the number to whatever's left. Okay, let me take an illustration here. Three to the negative second power is like saying three over one, okay? And then I flip it upside down, it would become one third to the second power, and now I just multiply and get one over nine, okay? One half to the negative third means to get rid of the negative, I flip the half upside down and it becomes two. And now I have a positive exponent. So as soon as you do the reciprocal, the exponent becomes positive. Now I can apply that and get eight. All right, this means that this whole thing drops to the denominator. So I get two in the denominator, x um, to the second power in the denominator and y in the denominator, okay? You could technically write this as x to the negative second y to the negative second and put the two in the denominator. Eh, I think this is what they're looking for. They're just, they, they just mean, if it's to the negative one power, it means flip it from the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top. All right, let's apply it to this one. And this will actually help you doing one of the problems. This isn't the entire problem, but it's part of the step, okay? So we're going to take this denominator to the top take the top to the bottom, okay? So this drops to the bottom, this comes to the top, and now I have it to the second power. And so x to the fourth, right? And <clears throat> over y to the fourth, and then what happens to the eight? Did you think 16? No. Okay, common mistake. And um, we multiply the eight times the eight, okay? So don't forget that step when you're dealing with the numbers is you, and it does not, some students think, oh, negative 16. I, for some reason, that is a very, very, very common mistake is to think of that negative two as somehow being distributed times the eight and get negative 16. Um, so if you do that, don't feel bad, you're not alone, all right? A lot of students do that, but think first of getting rid of the negative part by flipping it, and then the next step is to apply the positive exponent to everything inside the parentheses, including making the eight squared, which is 64, all right? See you in the next lesson.